Hello everybody, today we are at Brent Cross Shopping Centre and I'm going to be visiting the charity supermarket which is a pop-up here. It is full of loads of secondhand clothes from a whole bunch of different charities and I have with me my trusty spring colour fan that Sean gave me from the colour analysis session that we did. There's a whole video about that if you want to watch it. I'm going to do some secondhand shopping and I'm challenging myself to see if I can actually figure out what are spring colours and try and pick out some spring colours for me. Let's go! I don't know why I immediately went to grey. That's not what I want. What do I actually want? There's the, I feel like there's lots of spring colours on here. No, is that winter? I don't know. Obviously immediately drawn to the yellows. Is this a spring yellow though? I feel like I need a game plan of what I actually want. Hmm. Ish, that one. <laughs> this is in that like pink orange combo that we discovered was my colors. Are these my colors? Are these the exact same ones? But maybe we give it a go. What size are you? What size are you? Is this a spring red? Maybe? So one of the things that Sean said was a good place to start with dressing in your season is starting with neutrals, which for me is like soft greys, these kind of like warm browns, whatever navy my thing was, and then also ivory, not white. But obviously I've immediately just like <laughs> gone straight for colours. It's fine, I don't really wear lots of neutrals. Oh my God, I used to, as a teenager, be all about the denim skirt. Oh, it's a size 10. I might try on a denim skirt some off whites, but they're just not my vibe. I've got a couple of weddings coming up, and one thing that I've realized is that I don't have any like smart shoes to go with things that aren't like heels, and I don't particularly want to wear heels. One of them is a Kaylee, so I need comfy shoes for the Kaylee. It's not my style, but I like the color. These have got to be a spring orange. No, maybe they're summer, because it's kind of like got some white in it, so, but it is also kind of corally. Oh, I don't know. Is this a summer blue? I don't know. So you know I have that gray cardigan that I love, and I was like, I want it in different colors. Well, here's a similar cardigan. Oh no, I'm not a fan of these. Is this a spring orange? Maybe. Oh, I see some colours. <laughs> I'm just like, <gasps> ding, 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 ding. I don't need any jumpers. Why did I come to the jumpers? I don't need jumpers, Anna. I know, I'm really going for orange, aren't I? It's just the kind of day I'm having, isn't it? I just seem very attracted to orange today. Case in point. <laughs> what other colours are there? <laughs> so colours that I don't have a lot of in the kind of spring tones would be greens, these more blues, and then the kind of like purple vibe. So I'm wondering if I should challenge myself to see if I can find anything I like in this part of the spectrum. I found a green cardigan, but I'm not a fan of it. I like the kind of longer, bigger buttons situation, but I think I'm on the right track in terms of like, I think this is the right kind of green that would suit me. I'm not actually a fan of the top itself, but I'm pretty sure this is the kind of purple that I should be wearing. There is an element of like shopping with your seasonal colours in mind that I'm not sure if it makes it like easier or harder because it eliminates a lot of possibilities but then also I guess it like helps narrowing down like what would suit you which can be a good thing in a place like this when there's so much. Okay we're just gonna walk past this uh, lovely orange rack. Oh mustard. I'm still not 100% sure if I understand what the difference between an autumnal mustard and a spring mustard is. It's like the autumn one got like more brown in it. <laughs> this skirt is amazing. And I feel like a lot of these colors in here are spring vibes. So then I could wear like various different tops with so size eight. I'm a 10. I have to try. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Sean said that you can wear whatever you want on your bottom half anyway, because it's about like the color that reflects onto your face. But this lends itself to many spring possibilities on the up half. On the up half, Hannah. I still haven't found any green or blue and I am determined to at least try some green and blue stuff on. 
Okay, this could be a spring blue, but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's a summer blue. Let me check my trusty fan. Maybe it's that. Oh, wow. Fucking nailed it. Look at that. Boom, that one. Do I need a top like this though? I don't know. We're just, we're just gonna try it on for the color experiment. I may be completely bullshitting here, but this, potentially spring blue. This one, summer. See how it's cooler? Got more white in it. I don't know. Sean's gonna watch this and be like, Hannah, no, you're wrong. <laughs> I love me a crop top. It's getting almost to that time of year. However, I am not a, what's this called, a razorback thing because I wear big old bras. So I'll have like big old bra strap showing, but is that like in fashion now to have your like nursing bra strap showing? I'm gonna try it on. Okay, but if I was interested in some heels, it would be these ones. And luckily they are not in my size. <laughs> I think I've picked out most of the colors that I want to like try on, but I haven't picked out any neutrals other than the denim skirt. <laughs> but I don't really wear neutrals, so I think it's fine. I think I'm ready to head to the changing rooms. But first, on my way to the changing rooms, let me just grab this. Okay, so the skirt is not really relevant to the whole like spring challenge thing, but it's great. <laughs> And it's a staple that I definitely want in my wardrobe. This is spring. It is like slightly too big. I think that's just room for lunch. Okay, whilst we're trying on skirts. Da 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 da! It fits! It fits! There's maybe like a bit of a ooh, situation if I bend over. Um, but that's fine because in the colder months I wear tights and then in the warmer months I wear like those bike shorts things, so decency all round. I am truly obsessed with this skirt. I haven't checked the price tag yet. Does it go with this top or is it a bit too much? I don't know, I can't tell, but I'm kind of obsessed with this look. Okay, we're just gonna ignore the fit to begin with and just focus on the colors. It's hard to tell in here because it's just artificial lighting. There's no natural light, but can't tell if these are spring colors so if we pick right my coat i know my coat is autumn because sean said that this is autumn so let's see if we can see a difference in my face right da 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 i i don't know the fit is a bit wrong on me it's like very fitted however it's just like one of those dresses where it's got the line of like where your boobs are supposed to go and my boobs just go beyond but I really love the sleeves. I don't know, there is something about this dress that I really like. I wonder what it would look like if I wasn't wearing my nursing bra because my nursing bra just doesn't give any shape to the boob whatsoever and always creates this like big cleavage line. Like if I was wearing a more normal bra, I mean, wow, okay. <sighs> Look how lopsided the situation is. But I don't know, this is like the kind of dress that I normally wouldn't go for, but it's, it's got some winning elements for me. I think because I am still breastfeeding, there is also no breastfeeding access in this whatsoever. I do think I'm gonna have to pass on this one, but there's something about it that it is making me feel kind of like fun and fancy, but not today, not today. Okay, it fits. I think the color is good on me. However, it's just not the style for me. Like the wrap thing is kind of funny because it's like the dress and then I didn't realize that part of the dress was involved in the wrap. I thought it was like a belt situation because then when it's a belt situation, I can really like go to town on nipping in at my waist, which I really like. But then when this bit is involved, couldn't get the same situation without then like something weird happening down here. I mean, it would be good because it's got that booby access for the summer, but I don't, I don't think it's the one. Ignore the skirt, we're trying on tops now. I really like this color. It is not one that I would like normally go for at all but I'm really glad that I've discovered that this is a color that would suit me. But this top is a no. The material is like, don't know how to describe materials. I don't know. It's not pleasant. And also it's one of those ones that like rides really far up into armpit, which is just a no, no, no for me. I hate tops that do that. It's so uncomfortable to me, but like it doesn't look bad, but it just doesn't feel nice. I'm gonna try and see if there's other ways in the future to get a bit more of this purple in my wardrobe though. 
Okay, whilst we're here, orange cardigan time. I love the way this looks. Also, like, look at these two colours together. Amazing. But these elbow patches, not a fan of. But I thought, hey, maybe my friend Lena would have some ideas of what to do with it. But then the moment I put it on, it's itchy. It's really itchy. And oh, as much as I love it and would definitely, like, get a lot of wear out of it. No, I could have forgiven the elbow patches and gotten a little creative with it. But the itchy, the itchiness, no. What is this made out of? Oh, it's cashmere. Also, don't you have to be really careful with cashmere in terms of how you wash it? Yeah, hand wash only. I'm not about that life. I am not about that cashmere hand wash only life. So, I'm sorry. But this is just further confirmed that having like a brightly coloured cardigan to add a bit more versatility to my like cardigan life is something that should be in my future. Okay, so we're just gonna pretend that I am correct and this is a spring blue. I think I'm right, but not 100% sure. This feels super cozy and soft. It's also really lightweight, so even though it's like long-sleeved, I think it should come in real handy in like spring and summer, especially knowing you wanna put an extra layer on in the evenings. However, does it look good? The shape of it? Let me try it tucked in. Okay, it looked fine with the denim skirt, but hello. I like it. I'm into it. I've not checked the price, but I think I want it. Okay, so this is so like something that I would wear in the summer, just like skirts, trousers, and crop tops. I do like the back. I don't think it looks bad with the straps. The only issue is just how unflattering nursing bras are. My boobs should really be up here <laughs> if I was wearing a decent bra. So let's just pretend. But I'm not gonna be breastfeeding forever. I might go for it because it's such a great color and I can see how it would work with so many other things that I've got in my wardrobe in terms of what I wear in the summer. Also look, the nails. Okay, this was a long shot. It's a size too small for me and it was an absolute mission to get over my boobs. It's very tight and uncomfortable. The style and the color I think is correct. Just the size is wrong. But also, I think I did pick colors correctly because spring colors should all be able to go with each other. And look at this. Look at these colors. I think I did it. I think I understand spring. I'm feeling quite pleased with myself. And also I'm glad that I like these colors. I'm fully expecting Sean to text me after this video goes live being like, no, Hannah, wrong. But I'm pretty sure I'm right. Hey, can I get these, please? Okay, time for a charity shop haul. Mm -mm -mm. So in a shocking turn of events, I didn't get anything yellow or orange. This is what I did get though. I got me this denim mini skirt. This was from All Aboard, cost five pound. And I'm very excited to have this as like a staple in my wardrobe because I wear so many things with jeans. And so now I've got a jean skirt to wear instead sometimes. This skirt is maybe my favorite find. I mean, look at it, look at it. This one was Marie Curie and it was 12 pounds. I'm excited to put together some outfits with this. Jury's out on whether or not I can wear it with <laughs> this top, <laughs> we'll see. And then we've got my green crop top, which I'm not sure which charity it came from, but it costs six pounds. And this is good because I don't have anything in this green color, but I can picture many bottoms that this would go with that are already in my wardrobe. And then finally, this lovely blue top that was shelter and it was five. I think this will be a nice layer to add to outfits in the spring and the summer, especially in the evenings. And this one's just really soft, really nice, really nice. I didn't check what the washing situation was on the skirt. It's originally from Zara, so I can't imagine it's a difficult situation. <gasps> no! Rookie error, it's hand wash only. How often do you need to wash skirts anyway? It's not gonna be on my sweaty armpits. I guess I'm never gonna wash this skirt. So in total, my four items came to 28 pounds and 99 pence, which I think is pretty great for four new items of clothing that all can go with each other and also have potential to go with other things in my wardrobe, but I'm very pleased with that. I think I did an okay job of matching things with the spring season palette, if I say so myself. Do you think I did a good job? Also, if you happen to be in London, the charity supermarket pop-up is still open the weekend after this video goes out. It's open until the 12th of March, although they have already extended it once, so maybe they'll extend it again. I think it's really cool that there is something like this, and I really hope that we start to see 
more like presence of secondhand fashion and slow fashion in these like big shopping center spaces. I think it's really cool. And the way that it's all just like in one space with all of these different charities. And so you can really like take your time browsing and it feels like a proper fun shopping experience. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.